If a man's home is considered his castle, a private island is considered his kingdom. Well, you don't have to be a billionaire to buy an island. A modest one can be had for around $50,000. Billionaires possess many of the world's most exclusive estates. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. For this video, we will discover private island hideaways owned by the richest CEOs. But before anything else, please leave a like on the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell down below so you won't miss our videos. Without any further ado, let's hop on right to the video. Larry Ellison, Lanai, Hawaii In 2012, Oracle billionaire Lawrence J. Ellison paid over $300 million purchasing nearly all of the Hawaiian island of Lanai. According to news reports, he plans to turn his 98% of the 141 square miles dubbed Pineapple Island because it was once the world's top pineapple supplier into a premier tourist destination and a better place for locals to live all while remaining economically viable and completely green. One of the world's wealthiest people wants to create a prosperous and sustainable Eden in the Pacific, which includes everything from renewable energy and electric car charging stations to producing and exporting gourmet vegetables and opening organic vineyards. And the scent will be manufactured the old-fashioned way, as in France, using flowers. Ted Turner, St. Philip's Island, SC Ted Turner and his family and friends have been sailing, fishing, and entertaining on St. Philip's Island off the coast of South Carolina, near the historic seaports of Charleston and Savannah, for more than 35 years. The pristine island, which is protected by the Nature Conservancy through a conservation easement, has 70 acres of long white sand beaches stretching along the Atlantic Ocean, a maritime forest, ponds, and marshes, and is teeming with fish and wildlife. Little has changed here in centuries, according to Private Islands, which has the 4,680-acre property listed for sale at $23.8 million, so another family can enjoy this natural oasis as much as we did," Turner added. Richard Branson Necker Island, British Virgin Islands, a Mosquito Island, British Virgin Islands. Fortunately for us, some billionaires enjoy sharing their wealth. Sir Richard Branson had a desire to construct an elite hideaway from the first time he visited Necker Island, the 74 acres of Caribbean Eden, in the British Virgin Islands in 1978. Necker Island is my home and favourite hideaway, Branson says on the resort's website. I invite you to explore this idyllic island paradise for yourself and to be inspired by its beauty. For arrivals in 2016, rates start at $16,460 per couple, for a four-night stay in the Love Temple, and $29,960 for a seven-night stay. But barefoot luxury isn't the only attraction. The island is dedicated to long-term development, community development, and energy independence. Richard Branson continues to share the love on Mosquito Island, the British Virgin Islands island he acquired in 2007 and has since developed into a luxury resort, just two miles and a short boat trip away from Necker Island. Welcome to your very own private paradise, Branson said, referring to the island's leisure area and the Branson Estate's three villas, which are now available for exclusive use. However, all that privacy in a stretch of pristine tropical paradise comes at a cost. In 2016, arrivals will cost $47,300 per night, $2,150 per person each night for a total of 22 guests. John C. Malone, Samson K., The Bahamas some millionaires purchase islands and make them available to the general people. Others like John Malone, a millionaire media magnate who purchased Samson K in the Bahamas, one of 365 small islands in the Exima chain, which begins 35 miles southeast of Nassau, do the exact opposite. The Samson K Club, a resort with five villas, a restaurant, and a marina, was located on the island. However, it was closed for renovations in August 2013 and will not reopen. Samson K will be Malone's own Bahamian paradise to enjoy with family and friends. Ekaterina Dmitri Rybolovlev, Scorpios Island, Greece. Even the wealthy and renowned are not always able to obtain their desires. According to media reports, Bill Gates, Giorgio Armani, and Madonna all competed in recent years to buy Scorpios, a 74 acre private Greek island off the coast of the mainland in the Ionian Sea. In 1968, the little island hosted the high-profile wedding of late shipping billionaire Aristotle Onassis and former US lady Jacqueline Kennedy. The trophy property, along with the nearby islet of Sparty, was sold in 2013 for $150 million to heiress Ekaterina Rybolovlev, daughter of Russian billionaire Dmitry Rybolovlev. Dietrich Maitschitz, Laukala Island, Fiji On Laukala, a seven-square-mile private island retreat turned resort owned by Austrian energy drink magnate Dietrich Maitschitz. Wild orchids, empty white sandy beaches, and endless jungle are just a few of the South Pacific joys. 
In the early 2000s, the wealthy co-founder of Red Bull purchased the Fijian island from Malcolm Forbes' estate and transformed it into a tropical getaway with unparalleled levels of luxury and privacy. Guests can stay in the private Fijian-style villas nestled among coconut groves, surrounded by rainforest, or with unobstructed views of the sea, eat and drink at restaurants and bars serving everything from beachside barbecues to customized fine dining, participate in water sports, golf and horseback riding, and get up close and personal with angelfish and coral reefs. Each villa has its own buggies, allowing for stress-free exploration. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.